Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick tip about the admin user in your WordPress account. Now, the admin user, as you know, has all the admin privileges and it can do almost anything in the back end of your WordPress site, including uh, installing an FTP plugin, which can be used to log right into your server right from the admin dashboard of your website. So you don't want people who aren't authorized to get admin access. Now, one of the things that hackers do is they're able to find your username through your blog posts on your website and then brute force your password and then get into your admin account. And I'll quickly show you how they find the, the username. They simply go to your site, they find a blog post, and in the metadata, it quite often has the username right here. But this is just the, word, the blog listing, so they open the actual blog post. And even if this is not in the metadata, they can go view page source, and they search for author and WordPress will put in a bunch of information, including the author URL, post by author, author username. And even if this is not visible on the blog itself, this can still be visible in the source code. And uh, hackers don't actually personally come to your site and do this. They have automatic tools that go and read the source code and it, it's, it's fast, it's automated and they can quickly figure out your usernames if you have this on your website. Now once they have the username, they go to your login page and try to guess your passwords. So the best thing to do, what I've found, is create an admin user that you never use aside from admin stuff. All the blog posts posted to your site are posted by users with the author or contributor user role. And the admin user just is rarely ever used and you're the only one who has access and you don't use it for any public facing posts on your site. So to make this admin user, we just go to the users section on in, in your dashboard and we click on add new. And I like to make the username very difficult to guess. So I use my last pass password generator. I just take a password that it generates, use that as the username, put my email in here, put my name in here. Uh, website if you want and then the password is going to be this which is also equally or even more crazy than the username like I said this admin user is going to be used for nothing other than admin stuff and your your, your regular day-to-day -day posting that you do on your site you don't even use this user account you log in with a different user so I'm just going to set this to admin Click on add new user. And now ideally you personally will have two users. You're gonna have the admin user that has a crazy password and a crazy uh, username that you only use for admin stuff. You're gonna have another user that can be your name or your pen name and you use that to post to your site. So if someone finds that username and is able to guess the password for that username, the user role is only author. So if, if you wanna set user roles, like these are both admin right now, we can change the role of any of these by clicking the checkbox beside them, clicking on this drop down, and picking the role that you want them to be. And you can test this yourself. You could you could use any of these roles and then log out of WordPress, log back in, and you'll see there's very limited things that the contributor and author can do in the back end of your site. So if a hacker gets in there, it's not that big of a deal. And if you have previous posts or pages that you want to change, like say you do this, say you set up your admin user that you use only for your admin, then you use a different one for your pen name. You can come into all your posts and click on this box. I'll select all of them if you have more than one. Choose bulk actions and edit and then apply. And there's an author drop down. You can choose which author is gonna be authoring that post. So you wanna make sure that it's not the admin user that you have for the author of the post and then you change it to whatever whatever is correct for you and you click on update in the corner and that's it. Now there should be no more public facing references to the admin user, only to a user that has the author role or contributor role, which if that's hacked is not that big of a deal because they don't have a lot of permissions in the back end of your WordPress site. So I hope this tip helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out wplearninglab.com where we publish more tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.